All right, Maurice. Maurice, oh, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? I'm from Grandview, Missouri. That's near Kansas City, I think, right? Yes, it is. It's a suburb of Kansas City. And tell me about uh, how you grew up. You had mom and dad? I had a mom and dad. My grandpa passed away. My, grand my step grandma passed away. We grew up in a house in Missouri. It was green and white. Had a garage. It was a three bedroom house. It had a, a master bedroom. Had an upstairs. Had a basement. How would you describe your childhood? Um, I grew up on the farm. Landscaping goes back to squash. What kind of kid were you in high school? I graduated in 1973 from Ruskin High School in Kansas City, Missouri. In mm -hmm. your childhood, no, nothing crazy going on? Nope. Pretty solid Midwestern. Pretty solid. Yeah. And after, after school, you went where? Go to college? College. You went to college? Took accounting class. Uh, the college is now in Phoenix, Arizona. Goes back to bookkeeping. What kind, what kind of work have you done in your life? Mostly landscape. Hmm. Goes back to a dead bush. You, have you been married before? Only once. And I haven't even married her. Do you have kids? One. She lives in Moore Park. Her name's Melinda. She has a band, classical rock band going on. Hmm. And you, uh, you've been living here on Skid Row for how long? I've been on Skid Row for about five months. You've been homeless for how long? A couple of years. How did you end up homeless? Um, camera above my girlfriend's room. Put me on the street. What, what did the camera show? Camera shows that I keep going to her room. And doing what? Uh, I guess having sex, if you want to say that. There's nothing wrong with that. But no, there's not. What, the, what got you kicked out or whatever? I smacked her in the head because she wouldn't cut her hair. They put a restraining order on me. Her mom died. The woman that put the restraining order on me died. That left her alone. She does drugs. She does cocaine. She does marijuana. I do marijuana, had a marijuana card, the cops took that. Do you do any, any of the other drugs that are out here? No, I don't do coke, I don't do, uh, I just do marijuana. Cigarettes and marijuana, that's all I do. I don't even drink beer. No alcohol? No alcohol. Have you been on uh, any psych meds before? Uh, yes, I have, Halidol and Depakote. What are those for? Uh, schizophrenia. Are you taking those currently? No, I'm not. You're not. Are you better when you do take them? No, I'm not. Can I ask you to look at camera? There you go. Um, what, uh, what is the difference between Maurice on the psych meds and Maurice off the psych meds? Maurice off the psych meds knows how to work a job. Maurice on the psych meds doesn't know how to work a job. Maurice on the psych meds takes Social Security. Maurice on the jobs takes food stamps. Lost two food stamp cards already. Would you like to go back to uh, the uh, park at Echo Park and start over with a bar of soap? I'd like to start with Echo Park and start over with a bar of soap in a bathroom. How do, how do you support yourself living on the street? Panhandle? Panhandle. Panhandle. 
you get enough money to eat? Uh, I guess I do. And you'll eat where? You go to the missions to eat or you go to the, some I go somewhere? to the mission to eat when I can. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you talk to your family? Do you have any contact with anyone? Uh, no, I haven't. I need to write a uh, letter and I haven't done that. Starts with a black pencil and an eraser. Starts with construction. Starts with a caterpillar. Starts with a forklift. Especially a forklift. You've been, uh, the, the psych meds that you were prescribed, that those you were taking since, since what age? When did you start taking them? When did I start taking them? 1996. How old are you now? 66. You're 66. Born June 2nd, 1955. Goes back to World War II. Goes back to when Hiroshima got bombed. Not quite. Hmm? <laughs> You're a little bit short of that. Yeah, I know I am. What, uh, what was the best time of your life? Goes back to the Japanese when they bombed us in World War I. Two. Or World War II. Goes back to World War I. I don't know what happened in World War I, but it goes back to World War I. What, what goes back to World War I? Everything. What's your favorite memory in your life? My favorite memory in my life is music. Baptist music. A Baptist hymnal. I grew up Baptist. Mm -hmm. It goes back to the complete Jewish Bible by David H. Stern, sir. Ever heard of David H. Stern? No. David H. Stern is over there in Israel. Israel still got a war going on between the Palestinians and the Israelites. Goes back to a Jewish flag. They're not flying a Jewish flag anywhere around here. Anything else you'd like to know? Do you, do you have any friends on the street? Uh, yes, I do. Several. Starts with $10. I gave somebody $10 the other day that was homeless. And you stay in a tent or you just, you just wing it? I just wing it right now on the street, homeless with cardboard. No tent. Picking up cigarette butts. What's the best thing you found searching around garbage and trash? Uh, food. Starts with peanuts. Starts with peanut butter. Starts with peanut butter and jelly. What would you describe a good day in your life now? What, what, what constitutes a good day? Finding something to eat. What's a bad day? A bad day is nothing to eat. Yeah. How often are you hungry? Uh, quite a bit. All right. You won't be hungry today. How about my swollen feet? Would you like to discuss those? Yeah, why are your feet so swollen? From walking so much. Is that right? Mm hmm? From, just from walking, your feet get swollen? Just from walking. What would you say is the most important thing you've learned in your life? How to work for a chemical plant called R&D Chemical. Is that where you worked in Kansas City? That's where I was working in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Why are you wearing the, uh, the coat and the uh, hairnet? Because I worked for R&D Chemical. Still? I'm still trying to get another job with them. So hanging out by the Greyhound Station parking lot? Yes, sir. Is that gonna, <laughs> I'm not sure that they're gonna drive by and hire you. It 
goes back to collecting trash. Goes back to cleaning up the streets of LA. What do you think LA needs to do about their Skid Row situation, homeless situation? I think they need to do something more about it. Goes back to Chase Bank. Goes back to Star Wars. Goes back to Redondo Beach Library. You know where Redondo Beach Library is? That's where it starts. Goes back to Redondo Beach Honda. All right, Maurice. Thank you so much for coming in and talking with me. No problem. You have a good day, sir. You too. Thank you.